What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here. You can't see me, but we're going to get going anyway. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use Instagress. And what Instagress is, is it's like Facebook marketing kind of with the amount of detail that you can really get into and the amount of targeting you can do. So Instagress is something that you're going to utilize for whether it be a customer or for yourself to grow your business whatever it is to grow your Instagram so you're not spending hours a day on it trying to grow your page. It is quick and it is easy. It costs money, but that's something, you know, that's the cost of business. It's really not that expensive at all. So, what we are going to be doing today is I'm going to show you exactly what Instagram can do. I'm currently using it as a test on our business media because I don't like to tell you guys anything unless I test it out. So what we've done here is I've created an ad and this is, sh or not an ad, I've created my Instagram, I've automated my Instagram. So what I've done already is set up all the things that I want to do and I'm going to be going through this today. So what you start off with is targeting. So you pick your business account, let's say you're going to be using uh, a restaurant's account and you want to start targeting people. You can choose if you want to target people through tags, location, by followers, as in uh, people that, if you let's say, if it was a restaurant, Chef Ramsay, you wanted to target Chef Ramsay's followers because you know that they're interested in cooking. You could target his followers. You could then also target his followers in the U.S. and then his followers in the U.S. who use the hashtag uh, small business owner or chef or whatever it is, whatever it is that you're targeting, uh, whatever you want to target, you can do that. Also, uh, who they're following, uh, their likers, and comments. Like, it, it's crazy how much detail you can go into. So, right now, what I'm utilizing for myself is just usernames. I'm targeting, uh, which we'll get down there to where who I'm targeting. So, then you can choose the speed. If you want it to be fast, normal, or slow. I just have it set, on set, ugh. I just have it set to fast right now to see how that's working out. It's just following 25 people and unfollowing 25 people per hour that's the pace that it can it's able to go at um instagram isn't stupid and it does not like automated systems it doesn't like certain things so you have to be careful with it so keeping it about that is the safe zone so when it comes to the media age this is the filters that you can really start to get in detail let's say the media age is is how old the media that you are liking is if you have it set to like i have mine set to liking commenting and uh subscribing to people so the media age i have set to newest so the newest media they're posting like the top three posts or so it'll like or comment on the media type is just photos or videos then you can have the minimum likes which is just the amount of likes that, that photo or video already has and the max amount of likes. The max amount of likes to me is the most important. If you have somebody who's getting around 2,000, anything over really 250 likes on a photo, they're probably not going to notice that you like their photo. It's not a bad idea still to like it, but if you're trying to gain followers, people who have smaller profiles and see are more likely to actually see that you're liking their stuff. Then when it comes to comments, you can do the minimum amount of comments, maximum amount of comments, all sorts of different things that you can start to go through and I'm not going to go through each one because it's going to take a while for me to do that but as you can see there's some specific things you can do when it comes to the minimum amount of followers that's also important you want a page that has actually some followers that they're actually active on Instagram and then the maximum amount of followers again if somebody's got anything over a thousand followers they're not going to notice you even with a thousand followers they may not notice you so if you really want to do it they give you they recommend that you go between 500 and a thousand I've got mine set to a thousand I'm just doing some testing to see what works the best and what rate we're uh, getting people at and then obviously uh, the minimum amount of people that they're following so if they're following only 10 people uh, that might not actually be that good I should actually change this so the minimum minimum people that they're following Oh, sorry, that's the minimum amount of followers that they have, sorry. So the minimum amount of followers is actually a good thing. So if they only have 10 people that are following them, if they get another follower, they're going to be ecstatic about it. Only problem with that is they're also going to see when you unfollow them. You can also choose the gender if you'd really like. If you're really targeting females or you're really targeting males, you can do that. That's a great thing to utilize. 
uh, on a, a gender specific brand. So if you're selling a clothing line that's gender specific and you just need females, then target females. And then you can choose a tag plus the filter. So you want to target a certain tag plus, plus the filter, a tag plus location, which we already went through. Uh, tag plus filter, I mean username plus filter. Like There's so many different things you can do here. Then when it comes down to comments, you get to choose what you want to comment. So mine's just set to something real quick. I'm just throwing them out there uh, to, for this video. So I have awesome, keep up the great work and great content. Very simple comments that shouldn't get you in trouble. And then the following cycle. So I have mine set to follow 100 people before it starts the unfollowing cycle. So once it follows 100 people, it's then going to transfer over to the unfollowing cycle and it'll start unfollowing the first person that it started following on that cycle, if that makes sense. So it, once it gets to 99 people, the next person it follows, it's not going to then unfollow them immediately. It's going to go back to the first person it started following and start unfollowing them. And that's where the unfollowing cycle comes in. You want about, uh, I keep these even, obviously. So once it follows 100, it'll then go backwards and unfollow 100. You can set it to just people who don't un who don't follow you, uh, whatever you like. Then, oh, the unfollow source. This is kind of important. So, this is the people that Instagram has started following. So, if you have people that you're already following that you want to keep on there, if you set this to all, it's going to unfollow them too. But if you keep it to Instagram, it's only going to do what the people that it has followed. Then you have your tags. I don't have any set, so these are just hashtags that people used. Uh, Again, if you're doing a restaurant or something, hashtag food, hashtag whatever, you can type out a bunch of hashtags that people have been posting food about and you can get them to like. That way you can have it set to tags and then have it comment looks great or something like that and you know, go from there. Location is obviously where they're at. So this I found useful if you're targeting people. Let's say you're a club. You're, you have a club as a, and you want to target people who are going to the local club next door. So you would then have it set to that club's location and also your own lo club's location too. But let's say you have it set to their location, their geotag. So people who post a photo there and use the geotag saying that they're there, you can comment or like their stuff and say, you know, oh, looks great or something. And then they'll be like, oh, you know, that club next door actually commented on my stuff. Let's go there next time. You know, stuff like that really interact with people and also Obviously, you can have it set to just people who are on your own tag, uh, like if you're a club, your geo tag, and comment stuff like, looks great, can't wait to see you again next time, or something like that, and, you know, really interacting with the people. Then comes usernames. So what I've done here is because I'm a social media marketing agency, I want to target people who are interested in social media marketing. And I put in a bunch of people, a bunch of uh popular pages that I think people may be interested in social media marketing who follow these people. So I used usernames instead of tags or anything. I decided to just try usernames on this test that I'm doing. And then there's a blacklist. You can blacklist people. You can blacklist usernames that you don't want to follow. You can blacklist hashtags that you don't want on there. And then you also have the auto stop. The auto stop is just if you have a very specific targeted group and they're not posting anything and you're not getting any followers it, it has nothing to do it doesn't want to waste the time that you paid for so you it goes off of uh, the amount of time that you paid for so i just did 30 days so every every second that's working i've paid for that so if it's not gaining anything from it it'll shut off automatically so if let's say i went through obviously that's not going to happen for the amount of people i have here but let's say i went more specific i said people who follow ty lopez who use the hashtag SSMMA uh, and are in the US. If it then didn't see anything within three hours, no activity with, within three hours of that, it would then shut down after it went through everything, after it followed everybody with that hashtag and then there was no more, it would shut itself off. Uh, that way you could go through and redo it, pick something that's a little bit more specific or you could choose it you know, one week. So. Obviously, it's trying to save you money here. It doesn't want it to, you to be losing money or paying for something that's not working. So then comes the fees. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly cheap. I'm going to be buying myself the 360-day one, which is 80 bucks, but $0.22 cents per day. 
uh, the great that the great marketing tool they did here by putting that on there. I mean, twenty two cents per day. That's nothing. That's to for somebody to like and comment a bunch of things. I can't pay that, and that's per hour. So think of that. This is following people, twenty five people per hour. It's interacting with. So, I mean, I can't pay somebody for three hundred sixty days, twenty four hours a day, twenty two cents to do that. That's insane. That really doesn't cost anything. So this is personally what I'll be doing after it makes the most sense to me. So guys, I hope you really utilize this tool and I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, go ahead and follow our business media on Instagram and you'll be able to see what goes on on our Instagram page. We are posting, trying to post a lot of just inspirational quotes, value, trying to give you guys something to uh, that you guys would actually be interested in obviously following. So Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button, comment, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you would like. Thank you guys for watching.